Okay, I really don't know what to say. I mean, this house is freaking awesome, but it's so big. It's got to be about 5,000 square feet. I mean, a pretty nice street, but I mean, this is much square footage. I mean, it really should sell for 500,000, like 499. But I don't know if you get it. I mean, it's got very nice curb appeal with this front lawn. It, it's just so big and so many unknowns. So the whole roof, even though it looks all right, the whole roof needs to come off and probably a lot of the plywood. God, I don't even remember what section of the house this was. But this pretty much needs to come down. You got like five car garages, two on this side and then there's another one on the other side. Like this siding's okay. All the windows pretty much need to be replaced. Lots of landscaping. Some repair work to the deck. I don't know. I mean, I'm just going to try and throw out some numbers here. The roof, gosh, with the plywood, it's just so big. I think it could be like 20,000. You know, maybe we try and get it for 15, but I mean, all those gables and everything and all those valleys, let's just say 20 for the roof. Front porch, we could dress up. Some new floorboards. Some of the pickets are okay. But let's say like 3000 for that. And then you will need to side the front of it. Maybe do some patch up work. So let's say five for the siding patch up in front or wherever, just to play it safe. And then three on the deck or more. I want to see five on the deck because part of it's falling apart. And windows, another five. See, so it's a 20. Lots of animals living around here. This house has been vacant for so long. I mean, here's another garage. We'll probably need garage doors. Now, this is in rough shape, the roof over here. A lot of landscaping. Let's say, I mean, if we can keep this broken up stone driveway, which I think we can, because it is what it is. Um, but then again, we're trying to sell the house for 500. Let's see, 5,000 in landscaping now. Is that a house? It's just, it's an, it's an amazing house, but all crooked and it's been added on to and somebody was going to do something real nice but the only way to really give you a feel for what's going on here if you walk in the front door right here this wall is not load bearing i think you take this out and it's cathedral ceilings um you got nice closets here there's one two three big coat closets which people look for um it's kind of weird that there's a door here to get into this area which would be like the family room. I mean, very nice trim work on the ceilings, which I think we can keep some of this stuff. I mean, it's just crazy. So if this is open, it flows into here. These massive cathedral ceilings. I mean, something if we wanted to add more square footage, might even be easier to deal with these vaulted ceilings if we just put floor joists going straight across and now you have more square footage, but you don't have the cathedral ceilings. Or even if we just do it, if we just leave a cathedral over there. Look at this massive chimney. I mean, well, I don't think we're going to spend to put tile or brick going all the way. I guess we just frame it and drywall it in. Maybe down here we do some nice tile or something. But who knows? I mean, just the flue liners and everything else, if we need them. It might be okay, but let's just say 5000 for that. I don't even know what they were trying to do here. Um, and then tile work on top of it, another, this is pretty big, 2000 and then 
floors. So, I mean, this will be open. This will be the foyer, living room. And I think what we do is make this the dining room. I mean, it's just so, so big. So you can't see, this is like a dining room, kind of a walkthrough room. Over here you got garages. Here's the kitchen. That's the nice vaulted ceilings. Hopefully we can keep it. It's a shame, I mean, the cabinets are, well, I mean, they gotta go, but it's a shame. The wall cabinets look pretty good. Maybe we can put them somewhere else in the house, but they're, so these are probably the older oak cabinets, or I don't know why they put them in. There was that family room, so that was the front, the kitchen. I so said the kitchen with all these cabinets, I do the island a little different. I just have a regular rectangle island with a big one. You know, so this would be a kitchen table area, and then that would be an area with an island and a kitchen. I think you're spending 15,000 on this kitchen. And I don't know if you carry the hardwood. I think you do carry the hardwood from that living room in the front and the foyer into the dining room and into the kitchen. But over here for this family room, I think we do carpet. Man, I just, uh, well, let me show you this first. So, so you got stairs here. This will make this carpet going up. We don't want to price ourselves out of the neighborhood. Who knows, we, I actually, we could probably get away with carpet in this house. Maybe we just, Big backyard. I guess we need to find out about well and septic. I, I mean, drywall. All right, so this is crazy. Here's where we were above. What I'm saying, it's just, we'll be up on ladders. And the thing is, that's not enough insulation in the ceiling there. So we'd have to put like sister pieces of wood to it to make it thick enough where you can get like 14 inches of insulation. Right now it's only like six inches. The walls are, yeah, I mean this wall needs new plywood. But I'm thinking you just put, or you could just make this up here an office now or a second living room to get more living space. Cause a 5,000 square foot home, the only living space is this living room. And then that family room that was next to the kitchen with the fireplace. So I think you make this a playroom or an office or something, because you got six bedrooms in here. I mean, or like I said, you could run the floor joists, which maybe cost a thousand bucks to frame up a wall and do that. And now you got massive living room up here, but you don't have the vaulted ceilings. That might be better though. And then we leave it vaulted over here. Just put a railing here, leave this vaulted. So you don't have the staircase coming up too. There's two staircases in this house, but this is the other crazy thing. There's two different sections of this house. So I came up here from the kitchen to get to this area, which has this living room that we're going to call it. And it's got three bedrooms over here and a bathroom, big bathroom, which, you know, we might be able to keep some of this stuff. It's not, we're not going to be able to pass it off as new, but... We could probably keep it. And then, so you got a bedroom. And then you got, I mean, these are really cool bedrooms. I know people like the um, slope ceilings and stuff. Bedroom here. And then this is even crazier. Now you got this cut, this deck. This is the thing that was falling apart on the outside that I think we just remove. I mean, it adds a lot of charm to the house, but it's got to go. Um, and another bedroom leading to that deck. So they got big closets, big bedrooms. I mean, this would be a master bedroom in, you know, the $250,000 Glen Burnie homes, but, but the master bedroom's huge. So you got three bedrooms and a bath here. And then off this, whatever you call living room, there's no stairs going down the front here, but this would be a family room or it could be a bedroom if we just frame it out. I mean, this could be a master bedroom, but Maybe that is the better way. Make that the master bedroom, but there's no bathroom 